Hello, Grade Seven. I hope you're doing well. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about writing. What kind of writing? Writing letters. As we all know, a letter is most importantly a way of communicating with another person. Letters have many different functions and kinds, and can be written in many different ways. In our session today, we are going to learn to know the many kinds of letters, and our session is about complaint letters. Okay, let's start to know the two main types or kinds of letters: informal letters and formal letters. What is the difference between the two kinds or the two types of letters, formal and informal letters? Although the two types of letters look the same, they are different in terms of contents and the type of language used. Let's start with the informal letters. In formal letters, you start the letter with a friendly tone. To communicate with the friends or family, to thank someone, to update friends or family with news about you and your life. So the informal letters, they usually turn to family, relatives, and friends to keep in touch with them, congratulate them on something or just tell them something about your lives. The language used is simple and similar to the the one used in our lifetime or in everyday life. That was informal letters. What about the formal letters? It's a serious letters. Actually, you write it to complain or to offer your opinion or your comments to an issue or an event, or to apply for a job. So the formal letters is not like the informal letters. Here, the formal letters they are addressed to people like editors, governors, principal, or managers, to companies or organization, which we don't have a person but rather professional treatment. It's addressed to stranger and address. Formal issue, not like the informal letters to a friend or a relatives or a family. In the formal letters or the letter we send it to strangers, boss, principal, governor, or the serious or the kind of a serious letters, we don't use a contraction. What is the meaning of contraction? Contraction, we don't write the whole or the full word. For example. I've gone. Here we write the word briefly, so we have to write I have gone because it's a serious letter. It's for you pass, so you have to write I have gone. So we don't use contractions. Another example, like didn't. I have to write did not. Okay, so that's what we call it the contractions. We don't use in the formal letters idiom or expression. Do you remember the expressions like or the idioms like play with fire or the expression or idioms we have studied during the first term? We don't use it when we want to write formal letters. For example, on point, which means good. So we don't have to write or we shouldn't use to write. This kind of expressions or idioms—it's a kind of respect, actually. We don't use phrasal verbs when we want to write formal letters. As we all know, phrasal verb means a verb plus preposition. For example, look into. We don't have to use it, or we shouldn't use it. We write investigate or research or find out. Means discover, so we have to write discover, not find out, not look into. Okay. So the formal letters are generally used in professional and important situations. For example, writing to your manager, as I told you before, or your boss, your principal, or requesting or providing information, and. Writing a complaint. A letter of complaint is a kind of formal letters. Now we are going to know the formation of the letter of complaint and the basic components of 
In this kind of letters, you may be disappointed about something, but remember to be respectful and polite. So, the formation of the letter of complaint starts with salutation or the great greetings. We start our letter with dear sir or madam and followed by name if you are aware of who is the person is. As we all know, the letter we start with the introduction. In the complaint letter, we don't have used indent or we leave place of a word. We start writing directly and start with the topic sentence. And remember, the topic sentence, which is the main subject matter or idea, covers in the paragraphs, or the idea focuses on what you want to say about the topic. So this is like the introduction or the beginning of the letter, the topic sentence. Generally, we use in the complaint letter, uh, I am writing to complain about, and you will say what you want to say about the complaining letter. Now let's move to the second step, which is the main body. Actually, the main body, the main body provides the reader with information, so they can respond to the complaint and explain your reasons for letter. So the complaint letter should be supported with justification. Here we develop the subject and we explain the complaint in more details. So the second step is the main body or the second and the third paragraphs we are going to talk about the complaint in details okay not like the first step the first step we just put a hint about the complaint i'm writing to complain about the garbage or the rubbish um complain about the traffic jam anything you want to complain about but actually the second or the second part of the letter of complaint you are going to talk about the complaint in detail okay so we have to explain our complaint in two paragraphs then the third step or lastly in the complaint letter you say what action you want to the reader to take so you make like a summarizing about the complaint or the points you have made that we we call it conclusion okay so it's like a summarizing of your points the fourth paragraph which is the conclusion okay and what you want the principle or the another uh, part to do okay then we will close with the farewell of the letter we sign with our names and then we finish our letter Okay, here is a layout of a formal letter. As I told you before, we start our letter or the complaint letter with dear sir or dear madam. If, if you know the name of the person, you have to write it. Okay, then we start our letter with the topic sentence, which is the main idea. Okay, I'm writing to complain about what do you think you want to complain okay so we start with dear sir or dear madame and then the topic sentence or the introduction then we have to explain or discuss our complaint with the justification in the second and the third paragraph so you have to talk about your complaint in details then we will finish our letter with the conclusion okay we make like a summarizing or a summary for our letter okay then we finish our letter with the farewell, which is you sincerely or faithfully, and your name, you have to write your name, okay? Okay, here is an example of a complaint letter. We start our letter with the dear Mr. Heinz. I'm writing to complain about the garbage problem or the rubbish problem in our area. The sweepers come, but they don't pay their duties properly. They keep on piling the garbage day by day without removing it. Moreover, the rubbish collection van doesn't come regularly. It has created a terrible mess, smell, and has made the life of the residents miserable. Besides, mosquitoes, flies, and other disease carriers breed in these garbage dumps and pose a serious health hazard. 
I therefore request you to look into the matter. Garbage should be collected daily. Yours sincerely, Jack Williams. Okay, here we start our letters with dear. As I told you before, we have to write the name of the receiver. Then we are going to start our introduction with I am writing to complain about the complaint. Here the complaint is a garbage problem or a rubbish problem. Okay, this is what we call it the topic sentence. And then we are going to explain our complaint letter in more details. Okay, here he is talking about the sweepers come but they don't obey their duties and they are not to, they are not removing the rubbish day by day or uh, in a regular way. Okay, so the second and the third paragraph we have to talk about the complaint in more details. It has created a terrible sm smell. This what we call it, the justification. Okay, or uh, why we have to write this. Uh, a complaint letter because we we suffer from terrible smell and uh, that makes our life miserable okay and then we finish our letter with the conclusion or we have to ask the receiver anything you want in your complaint and then you have to put your farewell or your name and your sincerely Jack Williams which is the name of the sender okay Thank you.